All right, welcome back everyone. I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend and I hope that everybody had a wonderful Monday as I am doing this recording today, which is, yeah, the 21st, so it's Monday. All right, today we are gonna be taking a look at The Kingsman, The Secret Service, Harry Galahad Hart, made by Mayfex. I don't normally do a whole lot of unboxings on this channel, but I'm going to do one today. I just got this guy in today, so I haven't really looked at him or um, give him any once over. I haven't even taken him out of the box. So just really quick, I just wanna go over the box. Um, some promotional pictures right here on the, on the front of the box of the actual figure itself. It says Kingman, Kingsman, the Secret Service, Harry Galahad Hart, Mayfex. And on the side, we have a picture from the movie of Harry. And then on the back, we have a few more pictures of the figure and some of the accessories that he comes with. And then on the side of the box says Kingsman, the Secret Service. Kingsman, the Secret Service. Whoop. And then, you know, a bunch of small print and everything on the bottom. All right. So give me a second to get this guy out of the box and we will go. I've had a rather emotional day. So whatever your beef with Eggsy is, I'd appreciate it enormously if you could just leave us in peace until I finish this lovely pint of Guinness. All right, now that I got him out of the box, here is Harry Hart. Now, I'm a big Kingsman fan. I loved the first movie. It is the best. And this here, he was my favorite character in the whole movie, was Harry Hart. With that being said, guys, if you're a Kingsman fan, I mean, I want to get Eggsy, I really do. And I, hopefully they make Samuel L. Jackson and they make Merlin, so on and so forth. It would be great to see these characters made. Hopefully they do. And hopefully I will pick up Eggsy sometime in the future. But right now I just wanted to get Harry because like I said, he is my favorite out of them all. <laughs> now, um, this guy comes with some accessories. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, he comes with a plethora of hands. I mean, this guy comes with um, two, four, six, eight. No, I'm sorry, not even that. He comes with a total of two, four, five sets of hands and one, and one pointing hand. Sorry, I was, Trying to count the hands individually. Don't know what's wrong with me. He comes with an alternate head. He comes with a pistol. He comes with his knife shoes, his umbrella, everything that a Kingsman would need. So let's get on with this and let's show. So in the plastic tray, what I have here, I have his open hands. I have his gripping hands, fists, pointing another open, I guess that would be his trigger hand and then another kind of sort of open hand. That's probably where he is um, hitting the glasses. Yes, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but the ring is there and then this hand has the ring on it as well. This one doesn't, and I don't know about the, and th this one does, but I don't know the others. I haven't taken them out, but Definitely really, really cool. And I haven't looked at those hands yet either. Now moving on to his other head sculpt. I mean, this guy <laughs> looks exactly like he just came right out of the movie and action figure form. I mean, that's fabulous. The glasses, the lenses are nice and clear so you can see his eyes, the expression of his face, the hair the color of the skin, everything. I mean, that is just a fabulous, fabulous head sculpt. And of course, we'll go over the other one that's on him. Then he has, yes, yes, the knife in the front of the shoe where you click them together and then the knife comes out. Now, he actually has, and I kept it in the little plastic tray, two of them for each foot. And then he has, um, which just looks like a walking stick, but it's not, we'll go over that in a second. But yes, so 
yes, his his brogues. I think that's what they, they, these shoes were called. Uh, and then he actually comes with a stand. So you can actually put him in an action form and you can have him in his own little plastic stand, which is really cool. Uh, and then you have, then you have, sorry guys, trying to pick it up. You have his gun. Yes, it's all casted in black, but I believe that's the way it was in the movie. And there is a porthole here. Uh, this bottom part, I don't remember if this is supposed to be, I think this is supposed to be a um, 12 gauge round at the bottom here that, that he used, that he could use. But yeah, so you have, but he doesn't come with any um, fire, uh, you know, no, 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 no projectiles that you can put in there. I guess if you have some from other Mafex figures or something else, you can just plug them right in there. It's a nice, nice little gun sculpt. I like it. I like it a lot. And then, of course, his umbrella. Remember, manners maketh man. So they have a nice little gold ring on the bottom of the umbrella. The umbrella is closed. Of course, it has this little clasp right there. The tip of the umbrella. Mine's a little bent. No biggie. A little hot water to take care of that. Uh, yeah, so you have his umbrella. And then you have what I like is the open umbrella. And on the inside, that's where this comes in. You would take this, you plug it into a little hole here, ever so gently. So there you have the whole umbrella and he can hold that. And then you can see it says target locked, stun. So when he opens it up and he fires the uh, stun shots out of, you know, when he has that fight in the bar. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love the fact of the detail of the umbrella. The arms that are holding it open. I mean, that's just awesome. Very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Now let's get in take a look at this figure. So here's his other head sculpt. You can see his eyes through the lenses, the whole expression. I mean... How can you not say, I can't remember the name of the actor, so I do, apo I do apologize for that. Um, but this guy is just, in the movie, he is just a bad dude. A bad, bad dude. Not in a bad way, in a good way. This dude is somebody that you want on your side if you are in a fight, that is for sure. Very nicely, on, very nice on the sculpt of the face, the hair. I love those glasses, just awesome. Look at the jacket, the suit, the pinstripes in that suit, beautiful. The collar, look at that tie. The paint lines in that tie are dead on. I mean, that's just, that's great. Going down the back, yes, this is soft rubber, so you can actually pose him. You have his, call, his, his, um, his sleeves with his buttons, and you have his cufflinks right here. And those are the Kingsman cufflinks, but they're so small. I don't know if you can make out the, the Kingsman logo on them. And then on the other side, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> the other side you have his Kingsman cuffs also. And I, the, can you make that one out? I think you can see a little K in there. Maybe it's just me. And then, of course, his stun ring. The Kingsman ring right there also. That is always kept on the right hand, I believe he told Eggsy. Now, when I opened this guy, this arm was out. The part that holds the arm in there, I had to put it back in on my own. But that's all right, it's in, it's there. Uh, I just think that this is gonna be, you know, loose just because of the way it was made. This side's a little tighter, a lot tighter actually, but oh well. And then you have down to his boots and of course his 
brogues. I do believe that's what, um, they're not the Oxfords. I think these are the brogues, uh, the shoes. So if I'm wrong, just remind me, I haven't seen the movie in a long time. So just leave the comment down below, but nicely done. May Fix did a fantastic job on these guys. I love them. All right, so, uh, okay, so uh, looking up, Harry can look up that high. He can look down quite a bit. His head can turn side to side. Of course, he has head tilt. His arms can move out. See, that right there, see, this guy's broke. I'm gonna have to contact them and let them know. Ah, that sucks, it sucks so bad. His arms can move out about that far. Double jointed elbows. He has wrist swivel. And his wrists move up and down. Now down in here, he has inner thigh swivels. You can hear it's nice and tight in there. His leg can kick out this far, can kick back that far. And as far as his knee, that's as far as his knee joint goes. And then he has a pivot right to left and his foot can only move up so far because of the actual pant leg. So, and plus you have the peg in there too. So if you pull down on it, you might be able to get a little bit more, but I don't think so. And then he has the toe hinge. So his foot can actually move back that far and then only forward that far. The only thing, like I said, um, that's really a disappointment, man. I thought I had fixed that too, but this is still coming out. I'm gonna have to write, write them and get it fixed. Besides that, it is, uh, I think it's a great figure. His, his, his arm still moves. I mean, it still moves. I don't know about you guys, but I can't listen to Leonard Skinner ever the same, especially, you know, Freebird from that church scene from from this movie <laughs> yeah I don't I don't know yeah see oh just that popped out now yeah I don't know if you look in there see it's not sitting right I had that right I had fixed it once before but I don't think it's gonna stay all right give me a minute I gotta this fix this additional decorative piece is called broguing oh so it's not broke words to live by all right, now that I got his arm fixed and back into where it's supposed to be, since it just keeps falling out. Um, yeah, so here he is holding his gun. Um, what I'm going to do, because he is messed up, I'm going to, uh, I don't really have any comparisons, but there will be some photos uh, that I will take. So just watch those at the end. And uh, guys, that's pretty much it for this review. Um, I will probably get another one in the mail. This one will get shipped back. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this review. Please like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on anything new that I'm putting up. And uh, always leave a comment down below. And as always, I'll catch you all on the flippity flip. That is sick. Make it man. Do you know what that means? And let me teach you a lesson. Are we going to stand around here all day, or are we going to fight?